Hi boys and girls. This week we are going to talk about different nursery rhymes. They're little stories that have a lot of rhyming in them. So for our three-year-olds that are four-year-olds that have one more year of preschool left, you're going to listen for the rhyming and start learning about what rhyming words are. For my friends that are going to kindergarten, we're really going to work on trying to identify if something rhymes or doesn't rhyme. Um, I'm going to share with you a song that we did a couple times that, um, that rhymes, that rhymes, or no way, no way. So I'll share that with you later. We're gonna start with some nursery rhymes. Today we're going to start with Jack and Jill. You might have heard of Jack and Jill. That is a very popular nursery rhyme with some rhyming words in it we're gonna talk about. In your packet, um, in your bag that's gonna come home to you tomorrow, you're going to have a Jack and Jill sheet. And it has all the pictures that go with Jack and Jill. You can use these in different ways. You can use them to retell the story. You can use them to act out as you're listening to me tell you the nursery rhyme. Or you can use it just to talk about what's happening in the nursery rhyme. Okay, so those are for you to work on at home to know what's going on in, that, in the nursery rhyme. All right, so my turn first, and I'm going to read it through to you. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. This is a well, and some people have them on their property. Not a lot of people use them anymore, but you'd crank it, and inside it gets the water out of the ground and brings it up and then people can use that fresh water. So that's what Jack and Jill were doing. They were climbing up the hill to get the water out of the well and then Jack fell down, his crown. The crown, when you wear a crown, it sits at the top of your head. So some people call your head the crown of your body. So he hurt his crown, he broke his crown. And then Jill said, oh no, my friend Jack is hurt. So then she rolled down the hill after him. So when we talk about rhyming words, we don't want to look at the words. We want to listen and see if they sound the same at the end of the word. So let's look back at our Jack and Jill. So Jack and Jill went up the hill. I hear Jill, hill. They sound the same at the end of the word. Jill, hill. They rhyme. Let's look at the other ones. Oh, Jack fell down and broke his, you're right, crown, down, crown. That rhymes. Good, all right, we're gonna change the names in our story and we're going to see what rhyming words we can come up with. All right, so we're gonna start with Jack and Russ. You give us those two choices, Natalie. All right, Jack and Russ went on the, and we're gonna rhyme with Russ. So think of that word Russ. Does Russ rhyme with street or bus? Russ street, Russ bus. You're, You're right. right, Russ bus. That rhymes. Jack and Russ went on the bus. Nice job. All right, let's do the next one. Jack and Lee counted to, we're gonna rhyme with Lee, Lee and party? Jack and Lee counted to party? Lee party? No. Or Jack and Lee counted to three. Good, Lee and three, they sound the same at the end. Nice job. Jack and Lee counted to three. All right, let's try this one. Jack and Pete went down the Pete Hay or Pete Street. Which one rhymes? Jack and Pete went down the hay or Jack and Pete went down the street? You're right. Street Pete. That rhymes. All right, let's try the next one. Jack and Faye jumped in the party? We're rhyming with Faye. Faye party? They don't sound the same at the end. 
Faye or Faye Hay. Those sound the same. Jack and Faye jumped in the hay. Nice job. Jack and Faye jumped in the hay. All right, let's try Jack and Marty. Jack and Marty went to the bike or party. We're rhyming with Marty. Marty party, Marty bike. You're right. Jack party. and Marty went to the party. Nice job. All right. Jack and Mike rode on a bike or plane. We're rhyming with Mike. Mike plane, Mike bike. You're right. It's bike. Jack and Mike went on a bike. All right. Now Jack's going with Jane. Jack's got lots of friends. Jack and Jane flew in the, oh, that word flew might give it away. Did they fly in the cat or fly in the plane? We're rhyming with Jane. Jack and Jane flew in the plane. Good, Jane, plane, that rhymes. All right, we've got two left. Jack and Matt saw a, we're rhyming with Matt. Matt Van or Matt Cat? Matt Cat. Jack and Matt saw a cat. Nice job. All right, we're gonna keep those two up. Let's see if I can catch trick you or if you already got it. Jack and Dan rode in the cat. cat or van. Dan Van or Dan Cat? Dan Van, good. So rhyming words are two words that sound the same at the end of the word. So a fun game that we like to play in our house is to pick two words and see if they rhyme or they don't rhyme. So you can play that fun game with your family too. We're gonna keep working on nursery rhymes and uh, we'll have lots of fun. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.